everybody welcome back to a brand new medical projects youtube video if you are new around here my name is olivia i am a second year medical student at king's college london and here at medical projects we've created this channel dedicated to giving you all the best advice to ensure that you get your dream place at medical school we upload videos every tuesday so do make sure you are subscribed and turn on the notification bell so that you can be notified when we post. So for today's video, I'm so excited to film this because I've actually got a bunch of medical students to collaborate and we're going to be talking about the things we wish we'd known before starting medical school because you really don't know what it's like until you get there and sometimes things exceed your expectation and sometimes things take you by surprise and I want to share with you the things I wish I'd known when I was applying to medical school just to have a bit of a better awareness about what medical school is really like. So I'm going to be giving you the five things I'd wish I'd known before starting medical school. And you're also going to hear from some of my lovely medical school friends. So do make sure you check out their Instagrams. I'll leave them in the description box below. So without further ado, here is what I wish I'd known before starting medical school. Let's spill some, I actually do have some tea. Let's spill some tea. <laughs> I wish I'd known about medical school is you are actually gonna have a life and you're gonna have more free time than you anticipated. I'm gonna hold my hands up here and say, maybe this is just a product of me being a student at King's and the curriculum lends itself to having more free time because I do know some other medical students have been like, your life is over when you start medical school. In my personal opinion, I have a bunch of free time. I did biomedical sciences before I studied medicine and I feel like with medicine, a lot of it is self-directed study. You have your lectures and your tutorials and whatnot, but your workload is kind of dictated by how much work you're willing to put in. And you know, if you, if you don't want to be top of the class, then it's great. You have loads of free time. Medicine is such a sociable subject. So the university is always organizing events and things for you to do. Obviously, Corona's completely destroyed that this year, but in general, there's so many things you can attend. So I always feel like I have something I can do, which isn't medicine. That's not to say the workload is not huge because um, <laughs> it is. Honey, you've got a big storm coming but I do think it's manageable. I just think there's a bit of a misconception about how your life will be completely over when you start medical school and it's just your head in the book and that's it. The only thing you're gonna be dating is your textbook. I just don't think it's true. What's up guys, I'm Harpreet. I'm a first year medical student in London and I'm a graduate who's on the undergraduate degree. Um, one of the things I wish I knew before I started medicine was actually how many graduates do actually do the undergrad degree because I was under the impression that there wasn't many of us but there's actually quite a lot for my course in particular I know that at least 25% of the year is actually graduates which is actually really nice because I thought I'd be quite alone and like the oldest person there that's really not the case it's actually a super diverse group of people um, another thing that I wish I had known was how much work there is to do uh, I guess it's because I'm not used to learning because I have been working for a year or so now. So it is a thing of, there is a lot of volume of content, but you get used to it and it's all good fun. The next thing I wish I'd known about medical school is you're just gonna have to get used to not knowing a lot. So in medical school, it's kind of more breadth than depth. And because of that, there is just an infinite amount of things you need to know about multiple different specialties. And you're taking a bunch of type A people and you're putting them in the same year group. And it just gets intense because you just feel like you're constantly behind people and you don't know enough. And then you sit an exam. Like I sat an exam yesterday and I just didn't know half of it. Do you know what? It's okay. It's part of the learning process. You might just have to get used to not getting 90%, 100% on an exam because in medical school, it is so hard and so much of it is applied. And you know, there is just so much you need to know. So just get used to not knowing a lot, but also to counteract that, you know more than you think you do. We often go into the exams thinking we have so much content to cover and we cannot possibly cover it all. And whilst that's true, you will find that it's surprising what you do know and what you've taken from being on your placement and in your GP. And almost without even realizing you're building up this kind of clinical bank in your brain. You know, sometimes you'll just get a question on an exam where you're like, I saw a patient with that and this is how they were managed. And it's really, it's really satisfying. Hi everyone, it's Sophia from Starry Eyed Medic. One thing that I wished I knew before coming to medical school um, would probably be 
being more organized and also learning that studying styles would constantly need to evolve i didn't realize this not even after three years of doing a biomedical science degree and now i'm slowly realizing it but i wish that just before i started someone would have sat me down and just said this is what you need to do this is exactly how busy you're going to be it's gonna suck sometimes and of course i knew most of these but you don't know until you go through it yourself so yeah i just wish i was a lot more organized from day one but there's always time for improvement there's going to be another term there's going to be other years hopefully it will just be me getting better and better the next thing i wish i'd known it's a bit of a, it's a, bit of a downer guys i'm not gonna lie but medical school at least my medical school involves endless portfolio tasks and endless note writing oh my goodness the portfolio guys if you don't know what a portfolio is i think most medical schools have them but it's basically a record of your competency and your ability to perform multiple clinical skills so you know taking blood putting a catheter in to name a few and then you also have things you have to do like perform a physical examination on a patient and then follow it up with a doctor getting the sign offs is so hard literally like your entire life just revolves around obtaining the signature from a doctor that is it that's all you want it's better than christmas it's better than it's better than anything it's like my one role as a medical student is just to get my portfolio signed off please will you do it i will do anything um so yeah the portfolio can be quite difficult and also endless note taking um and with this i would say be prepared to adapt your learning style you know even as a graduate who did a undergraduate degree i had to change my note taking style because you just can't keep up in medicine note taking is endless but don't let that put you off it's really fun <laughs> even as i sit here i think i've got i don't know maybe eight lectures to write up it's hard to know it just you know i never see that zero sign we like to keep it below 10 but above five because then it just gives a bit of pressure but I'm not, you know, I'm not having a mental breakdown. I should probably just do my work. My name is Zane and I'm a first year medical student studying at the University of Sheffield. And although it's only been two months into studying medicine, I can say that one thing that I wish I had known two months ago before starting medicine is that you don't have to know the ins and outs of absolutely everything. And I know that can be a tough pill to swallow, especially for us medical students, because it's just in our nature at times to want to know and understand everything but i think because of the because of the sheer amount of information you're just given in medical school i think it would be unwise to do that and my best advice would be to just it's better to know a little bit of everything rather than a crazy amount of one thing because what that allows is it allows you to cover a broad spectrum of knowledge rather than just digging into one thing and that can also just make your revision a whole lot more time efficient as well. The next thing I wish I'd known about medical school, and this is a bit more of a serious one, but it's that there will be times when you have major imposter syndrome and you feel pretty stupid and you almost feel like, why am I here? Why did they pick me? This was such a mistake. You know, it might be the case that you're on placement and a doctor grills you on a subject you have no idea about and it can be really intimidating and I think one thing about medicine is you just learn to have a thick skin. You are constantly out of your comfort zone unless you're, you know, amazing. You are constantly being asked to do things that you might have only ever performed on a mannequin or you might be asked about a disease which you have only read about briefly or, you know, you learnt it three years ago. And I just think sometimes your confidence takes a bit of a beating but the thing about medicine and the thing about being a good doctor is you just need to maintain that resilience so you'll have your bad days but they are so balanced out by the amazing days where you know you go to take blood and you get it first time or you see a patient and you know about this disease because you've read about it and you know about the management and you can offer your thoughts to the doctor or the patient and it's really exciting something that i already predicted from watching fellow medics such as Olivia on YouTube but something that I think will be beneficial to new applicants is if you can afford it and only if you can afford it invest in an iPad it's revolutionary in terms of education there is a lot of subjects to cover in medicine and to have everything organized in electronic files backed up on a drive 
that you can access on any computer anywhere in the world is incredible. Forget notepads because you don't need them. When you've got an iPad, you can write all your notes on the PowerPoint printed out. You can generate cheat sheets on the same drive and essentially it's all contained on one small device. Finally, the last thing I wish I'd known before starting medical school is that you don't have to be a conventional medical student. And what I mean by this is someone who has got immaculate grades straight from A-levels. And whilst that is the case with many medical students, you are going to meet so many people on your course who are older than you, who have had previous jobs, previous degrees, previous careers, and that is okay. My point being with this one is that even if you don't get into medical school first time round, you can take a gap year, you can take two gap years, you can do another degree. It does not mean the door to medicine is permanently closed for you. There are so many different routes to get in. I just hope that that's a bit of a reminder if you're panicking about whether you're going to get in because there really is no conventional med student. The thing that we all share is that we love science and we're really driven people and we like to talk to people. So yeah, don't, don't panic. So so those are all the things that me and my friends wish we'd known about medical school before we started. I really hope you found this informative and thank you once again to the medical students who sent in their advice for you guys. That was so helpful and I really hope you guys enjoyed. So that was this week's video. Let me know if you're a medical student and what you wish you'd known before starting medical school. And until then, make sure you are subscribed to our Medical Projects YouTube channel and I will leave all our social media links in the description box below. Leave us a comment about videos you would like to see in the future. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next Tuesday. Bye.